Welcome to a short presentation all about the formation of relief rainfall. An example of this can be seen in the photograph with the rain falling on the windward side of the mountain as the air is rising upwards. We're going to investigate and look at why this occurs. This presentation is all about relief rainfall and how it is formed. It plays a really big role in the UK weather system so it's well worth understanding. Before we start it's worth remembering ourselves a few important terms that we need to know. Relief is the, actually the difference in height between the lowest and highest points in a landscape. In this case, we will be looking at how mountains affect rainfall. The next three important terms are the main parts of the water cycle, which is constantly occurring all around us in the world. Evaporation occurs when a liquid, such as water, is turned into a gas or vapour. The sun usually provides solar energy to cause this process to occur. The next important part of the water cycle is condensation. This is the opposite of evaporation. Here, water vapour changes and turns into a liquid, such as water. This normally happens when the air starts to cool and starts to form clouds. The last key ingredient of the water cycle is precipitation. This is a technical term for rain, sleet, hail or snow that is found falling through the atmosphere towards the ground. The last unusual term is rain shadow. This refers to a region that has much less rainfall because it's on the leeward sheltered side of a range of hills or mountains, as we'll see in the presentation. We'll also show before moving on if you're unsure of any of these key terms all about relief rainfall. One of the main causes of rainfall in the UK is due to relief rainfall caused by the air being forced to rise over upland areas, as we can see on the screen. The prevailing wind generally blows from over the Atlantic Ocean towards the land, as can be seen on the screen. Solar energy from the sun causes some of the ocean to evaporate and start to rise. Evaporation is when the water droplets turn from a liquid back into a gas. The moist warm air is pushed up by the prevailing wind towards the land. As the moist air reaches land, it is forced to rise upwards over the mountain. This forces the moist air to cool as it gets higher up, because the greater the altitude, the cooler the atmosphere is, at a range of 0.6 degrees for every 100 metres. As the moist air cools, the moist gas condenses and turns back to water droplets. We can see this with the formation of rain clouds. As the rain cloud cools and condenses even further as it rises, it is unable to retain the water droplets, so it starts to precipitate as rain, sleet, hail or snow. As the cloud rises upwards over the mountain and cools, even greater condensation occurs, creating more raindrops that fall on the west side of the mountain, as we can see on the screen. Once the rain cloud crosses the peak of the mountain, it will start to descend down the eastern side of the mountain. As the air sinks, it becomes warmer at a rate of 0.6 degrees per 100 metres. And that means that it is able to retain more moisture within the atmosphere, so it's less likely to rain. As the warm air sinks back down the mountain, the precipitation begins to stop. Once the air has returned to sea level, it is a lot warmer and a lot less likely to form rain from whatever moisture is left within the descending cloud. The mountain has created what is known as a rain shadow to the east, where it is much drier than the west. This pattern of rainfall is very common in the UK and helps in part to explain why it is much wetter in Wales and the Lake District, which are to the west, but generally drier towards the Midlands and east of England all because of relief rainfall.